Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the Basement Yard. Frank, how's it going? Oh, big day, Joe. I feel good. <laughs> big day. We have a special guest on today. Uh, we have uh, the the queen of farting. I would say, absolutely. Uh, on our show today, Stephanie Motto. Is that how you pronounce your last name? I think so. I think I'm not really sure how to pronounce my name. Okay. But okay. All right. Yeah. Well, oh. <laughs> I think it might be Stephanie Motto, but some people say Stephanie Motto, and I never correct them. So. You know you what? Same thing happens to me. People say my last name is Santiago. I go, yep, whatever. Oh, no, that's just flat that out wrong. Well, Santagato. Santagato? Yeah, it's yeah. on every shirt that he's ever put out ever. So. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, but we, we needed to have you on the show today because uh, we had previously talked about, uh, you know, you farting into jars. When the story, the story first came out that you were farting into jars and making money doing this uh we were like what an idea we have to talk to this woman and then afterwards we will get into the fact that you ended up in the hospital because of this because it's a dangerous job that people don't understand yeah uh and people sent like so thousands of dms they were like oh my god look what happened blah 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 so we needed to get you on and obviously just kind of figure out how this whole thing started and uh you know what was the reason behind yeah you originally you know, setting it off into jars. Yeah, and you know, like most, all heroes have an origin story, you know, like Batman, Batman's yeah. parents, gone. Yeah. You know, Flash, he thinks his, everyone thinks his dad killed his mom. You know, like what's your, what? because you're a national hero in our eyes. You're right. You figured it out. You struck gold. Thank you. And, well, uh, you know, I've, I've been in a handful of long-term relationships in my life and I've actually never parted in front of a boyfriend. Um, I've been very fart shy in my past and um, I, you know, I have my own 18 and up fan subscription platform called Unfiltered and, mm -hmm. you know, people will sometimes message me saying that, you know, I'm attractive and that I'm so attractive to them that they want to inhale my farts. Oh, okay. and <laughs> they were I right always, for it. <laughs> <laughs> and I always thought it was like a little bit of a, a figure of speech that maybe they're exaggerating. Um, or, or joking with me, but like at one point I was like, all right, you know, so many people are saying that they want to smell or like huff my farts that like maybe I'm onto something, maybe I should sell them or just put them up for sale on my unfiltered page mm -hmm. and, and just see what happens. It can't hurt, right? So, and that was like something kind of um, different for me because I am a fart shy person. I don't really fart in front of people very often. Um, so yeah, I put, I put the jars up for sale and as luck would have it, they ended up selling out. So what did you originally like list these at? Like what, how did you come up with the price? Like how did you know your worth? Yeah. I, I just highballed it. Good for <laughs> yeah. you. You yeah. called their bluff realistically. All these people were like, yo, I would s smell your farts. And you're like, oh yeah, do it. Pay up, bitch. <laughs> Pay up, motherfucker. Exactly. I mean, and also the question is where else are you going to get my farts? I mean, outside of to the source, I don't think you get it anywhere. I mean, listen, <laughs> supply and demand. You know, you have a chokehold on the market right now, and it's you're you're you called yourself a fartrepreneur, and you, you're not wrong. Absolutely, and you know, and then there's obviously the alternative, like you know, someone has to plot to get into a relationship with me and just hope one day I fart in front of them. But that's a lot of effort, so I'm actually saving people money and time with a thousand dollars for a. Uh, you know what? Experience. That's extremely thoughtful of you to do that. That is. Um, <laughs> What? So logistically, I, I am curious in the process here. Like, how do you go about farting into a jar? And like, because I think we were kind of speculating, like, how yeah. does this happen? Because you got to like, close it real fast. Like, what is, yeah. what is logistically, how is mm -hmm. this happening? Yeah. So Not uh, that we're going to take over the throne or anything. Yeah, we, we just, uh, we may, I don't know, but we're just we're curious. I think we need a strong male presence in the fart market right now. Yeah. I, I mean, I've spoke about this pretty openly. I am not confident in whatever my body looks like and does. So <laughs> sitting on a jar and selling what comes out is <laughs> not something I'm like ready to take on. Yeah. Uh, I think if, if, and realistically, I don't think people, you haven't seen me cause I didn't, you know, show you my face, but <laughs> no one's going to. See it. No one's gonna. Well, Tell the people right now, can... how much I pay for your farts. Oh, okay. Okay. All we're right, gonna turn hey. this. We're gonna turn the oh, computer wait, around. Let me get ready. Okay. Okay. <laughs> there he goes. Okay. Wait. Your your face is hidden by the mic. Oh. Okay. Oh, you got a mustache. Are you fucking seventy bucks. 
Wow. <laughs> 70 bucks a jar, dude. So that's, I'll tell you this, 10 times more than I thought I'd make. <laughs> Let me do it. Yeah. Well, let's do it. Get onto Unfiltered and let's start selling your farts. So, I mean, how would he, how would he do it? How would I fare? So how, how, how would I fare? <laughs> how, do, how does it happen? So like, obviously you got to be like, okay, I'm bubbling up something right now. I'm cooking something up. And then what do you do? You just grab a jar and you kind of just throw it back there. Yeah, so I mean, it takes a lot of preparation and lead up. So usually in the morning I get started with my diet that I'll be having that day. And every single batch that I've done has been a little bit different. So some were more predominantly cheese-based and then some more protein and bean-based. And mm-hmm. so, um, you know, just eat the food, drink the protein shakes, wait a little while. And then I've beta tested the jars before I release them. And I found that the best way to capture the scent in the jar is by taking a little fabric woven flower petal and just holding that, you know, right outside my butt and farting directly onto that. And then you just, you know, you kind of get in there a little bit too, just yeah. so you like really I'm not saying I wipe my ass with the flour, but I'm saying like you are, but yeah, it's okay. Know, it's fine. <laughs> tomato, tomato. tomato. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. So, okay. Yeah. So really, we're farting onto flour. You farting onto flour. Yeah. We're throwing we're throwing the flour in the jar. We're closing the jar real and fast. I gotta say, we were. Um, thank you for clarifying that mm-hmm. uh, because when we first when when we first started talking about your story, we said, hey evidence tampering you're putting a flower petal in there we thought it was a legit flower we did too we thought full like beautiful you know flowers have a scent you know and we were like oh she's you know that's that's taken away from it but now that we're finding out that it is just raw butt yeah that makes sense i mean it's genius marketing move really ass and glass ass and glass that's really what what's going down now did anyone and and please forgive us for the amount of thinking that we've put behind this because this is something we have we were sitting there and we're like, what do we ask? Racking our brains. Yeah. Um, you know, as men our age do. <laughs> but would you ever put out like a, like, did you ever divulge some, like any food sensitivity you have? Or are you afraid that people are going to be like, yo, if you're sensitive to this, I want you to eat it and then just like find out what happens. Ooh. So um, I, I'm sensitive to a lot of foods. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, I think people are very exploitive on the internet. So if I were to say that I'm like particularly sensitive to like Brussels sprouts, for example, I think some sick fuck probably would request Brussels sprout parts. Yeah. So I, uh, you know, I try not to give people too much information about my right. about my sensitivities. Um, but people actually have been really, really respectful. A lot of the clientele for the fart jars are longtime fans that have been watching my YouTube for a long time. They followed me, you know, ever since I was on YouTube, then 90 day, and then, you know, gone from one fan subscription platform to the other. And Mm -hmm. I think, you know, some of these people, they just, they purchase the farts because they, they pretty much buy almost anything that I put out. Nice. That's, that's really And I mean, you, you, you have the clientele. I mean, I read that in the first week you made around $50,000 and -hmm. then in total around 200. Yeah, so it's almost $200,000, but I haven't included the expenses of like shipping and handling. And of course, you know, the the amount of money I have to spend on food mm. and the time that it wow. takes so to like, write every note. This is a full blown. What's the overhead here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's your bottom line? Yeah. No, but like, so you have to, are, do you have to eat like an excessive amount? And then like, what? So like, what is it a day if you're like, okay, today I'm, you know, jarring a bunch, like how many jars, like how many meals, like wh- what does, what is that like? Cause you're saying you're like, obviously you have to spend money on like food. You said like beans and yeah. protein and stuff. I mean, so. And it's a lot of food in order to produce the quantity of orders that I got in the past, in the past month or two, I've had to eat a lot of food. And then on top of that, in order to counteract the fact that I'm eating so much food, I also have to pay for a personal trainer in mm. order to, you know, prevent myself from gaining too much weight because also like my physical appearance is part of my brand and mm. like, you know, and what I produce online. So yeah, there's, there's a lot of thought that goes into it and a lot of food. And uh, just, you know, trust me, like if I never have to eat another bowl of cabbage soup in my life, I'd be pretty damn happy. Cabbage, cabbage soup. Cabbage soup. Where, where, where were you, yeah. were you like going to Ireland just to come back yeah, and that's like- a, That's a very Oliver <laughs> Twist meal. <laughs> Wait, so I have some more. Uh, yeah. Cabbage soup. Cabbage well, makes you fart? Cabbage does, yeah. 
Oh my God, are you kidding me? That's like the number one fart producing food there is. Wow, I Cabbage, know that. Brussels sprouts, broccoli, I think oh. too. Really? Yeah, it just oh. rips wow. you up. Damn. I'm well, from I'm from Czech Republic and uh, it's called zelnyachka. It is like a traditional Czech cabbage soup and sometimes you can put potatoes and pork into it and and I had a I had a pretty big like pot of it one day and I think I still have some in my fridge and that's probably why it smells bad in there. <laughs> so I, I I also want to get into the fact that you are now since also slamming a white claw. Definitely love like, it. I love it so love much. It. Good, good for you. It's it Thirsty Claws. Thursday. Yeah, it's one o'clock and it's Thursday. Thursday, I'm all about this. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, yeah. a good day, you know. Yeah, a great day. Yeah. Clearly, we're we're proud of you. I'm glad to be alive, you know. Yeah, yeah. I want to get into that because you ended up in the hospital. This is why so many people hit us up. They're like, "Hey, there's a gap in the market now. You guys could probably fill yes. in." <laughs> they um, were they were being a little. They were like pirates. They were like, "She's gone. Go for it." Yeah, yeah it was oh kind of God. fucked up. She's like, "Hey, wow. man, Thanks, we need guys. to see if she's okay." Uh, so yeah, you ended up in the hospital from this. Can you kind of explain how that happened? Yes, so this was right before Christmas. I had a lot of orders to fulfill and I got a little bit greedy and overzealous and mm -hmm. I thought that I could maybe fulfill all of these orders. And uh, I remember on this one particular day, I had like three very, very, very large protein shakes and I was working my way through a batch of black bean soup. And all throughout the day, I just was not feeling very well. And I finally get to bed at night and I start feeling a pressure pain on my chest. Oh my and God. I felt like I couldn't even breathe in that every time I tried to breathe in, it felt like someone just like wrapping something tightly around my chest. Jesus. So I was convinced that I was having a heart attack. Mm -hmm. So I call up my friend and I'm like, girl, you need to come over here. Like you need to drive me to the emergency room. I think this is it. Like I'm going to have a heart attack. So she yeah. drives me to the ER and you know they they know my symptoms they think that it's serious they do an ekg a blood panel to make sure i'm not having like a blood clot or a stroke and um i didn't tell the doctor that i'm that like i'm eating all this protein and, and beans because i'm making fart jars but i just i simply stated that this is my diet and they looked concerned based off of like what i told them that i had eaten like they were yeah. very confused why i would be eating something like that um but you know my ekg test came back perfect everything came back fine and it was it was concluded that the reason why i was feeling this was from like severe gas pain that was just building up so much that it was actually you know putting pressure on my heart and my chest. Jeez. So I wasn't having a heart attack. I was just having like, you know, gas with a little bit of anxiety. So I think like at that moment, I said to myself, um, I have to either slow down production or like just completely take this into a new direction, mm. which and I did. Yeah, and you you said, I'm retired. You go out on top. You go out like Elway. Like John Elway. Oh, like <laughs> And I'm, I'm digitizing my fart jars. So now you Genius. can enjoy your fart jar in the metaverse. And I have released my own collection of fart jar NFTs that people can, you know, enjoy. And where can they find them if you want to plug um, that? So they just have to go to fartjarsnft.com and they'll be able to mint their very own fart jar. Some of them come with redeemable assets. So if you're one of the lucky few, you might actually get a fart jar NFT that uh, that unlocks a physical jar of farts. Whoa. So I haven't fully retired. But no, I you're, you're very much in the game. You're in the game. <laughs> <laughs> she's pulling the strings yeah, from the absolutely. background. She's got a chokehold okay. on this, this yeah. I am, world. I am no longer a fart factory. I am now a fart like special batch gourmet. Well, you exactly. Know? Oh, yeah. It's art. It, you're artisan now. You, right, yeah. You've I'm got you graduated. You know. Artisan. This is like when Jay Z retired like five times. It's like yeah, I'll be yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, sure. I'm sure, dude. You're still making money. <laughs> yeah. Well, good. good yeah. Well, we're glad you're okay. I think that's the most important thing. Is like we're glad yeah. you're, you're feeling okay, and that, that could be really really scary. Um, mm -hmm. Also, like, is there any, that's the first important thing. The next important thing is, did we upcharge these remaining jars that you hadn't sold I don't yet? think she could say that. She's going to give away the secret to success <laughs> over here. Well, people, there's no secret. Oh, it's like Pokemon cards. Like the first like edition are like super valuable. That's, the, that's what I'm, that's what I'm yeah. getting at. Here. I mean, listen, if you guys want some jars, I'll give you a discount. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, might need to get one. <laughs> Just, right? just, just put it right there in the background. A memento. Yeah. You guys know what this is? Exactly. We well, have guests on our show. I do have more questions. Um, <laughs> I, I have them written down. Uh, oh my, my God. My, my, my wife is a 
big fan of you. So uh, she, you oh, know, she, she you. I, I'd be remiss if I didn't say that she says hello. She didn't ask me to do that. I'm, oh I'm doing gosh, it myself. That's so sweet. Uh, but she helped me put these together. Um, uh, now, have you, like, what's, I mean, this might be too technical, but like, <laughs> is this like taxable income? Like, how do you classify? Are you like the sole proprietor? Like, yeah. are you your own employee? Are you at like the, like, as your, like, you, your bowels or your supervisor? What's going on here? I mean, technically, I mean, that's honestly, all right. I feel like the, the farts should be classified as a charitable exemption. Wow. Genius. She, so, give mean, it back to the world. Also, is it 200 or are we, like, lying to the government out loud? You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? Because that would be <laughs> mistake number one. on record. <laughs> <laughs> I should have never said this number. Yeah. We can bleep. We'll bleep it out. Yeah. We're on your no, side, it's though. It's okay, guys. It's okay. <laughs> I haven't even thought about the tax aspect of it yet, but it's like, I'm sure it'll be stressful, but my accountant, he's going to handle it. And obviously, you know, we'll do the right thing. And I do plan on also donating a portion of my, uh, of the NFT wow. uh, from, uh, that I make from the NFTs to a charity. And I think I'm going to, I'm, I'm probably, I've decided that I'm most likely going to donate to be the match foundation, which is a bone marrow registry foundation. So, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do good. With the money. You, you're is, doing way better than I would be. I'm telling you right now. a straight up fart empire. Yeah, Frank would just hoard all the money. I'd hoard all the money. Like, and I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't even fart. I'd just be like, yeah, that's that's a fart jar. <laughs> and I'd just like <laughs> scoop a jar near like dog shit or something and then call it a day. Oh my gosh. What a scumbag. Well, you know, I, I, I need to feel like I'm making a difference in the world. No, one you. At a time. I'm sure there's. Uh, have you thought about venturing into other uh, sort of fetish or kink type of thing because I feel like every woman in the world who has ever had a social media account has been hit up by a faceless account like mm -hmm. yo I will put your whole foot on my mouth that kind of thing um, yeah. so has, have you ever thought about venturing into other things and like farts was the one you decided to you know start with is there anything else that you would be willing to kind of jump mm -hmm. into I'm very open-minded um, I think like just as long as you know it doesn't require like sending like feces or mm, I just I feel like I feel like that might be like slightly illegal or something. So not sure about that. Mm -hmm. But you know, I I would definitely offer people lingerie, mm. a bra, something like that. So that's a yeah. that's a big market as well. It is. Absolutely. That is a big market. What is there a market for queefs? Um, queefs, yes. So with the NFTs, actually, uh, 10 of the 5,000 NFTs that we've released um, actually do come with the redeemable queef fart. And uh, Whoa. My, my... logistically speaking, uh, it is quite hard to queef on command. But I, was, I asked my wife that. <laughs> yes. yeah. Is she thinking about selling her queef farts? No, no, no. But I asked, like, if that's something you could do on command. And she's like, I'm sure there are people out there. And oh, like, yeah, yeah. Like, it involves kind of getting into a really uncomfortable yoga position and doing, mm. like, this, like, pelvic floor breathing in. I don't know. Mm. It's hard to explain. But there definitely is a way. Hold on one second. My dog is being so annoying. Frank, come over here. You oh. want a treat? Come have a treat. Come yeah. Here for <laughs> she's, she's talking. I she's talking to me. <laughs> like scratching on the freaking wall um but yeah there's there's definitely ways there's other ways that you can also produce queefs but that would include you know uh intercourse and you can't really that's like logistically speaking it'd be pretty hard to to do that every time you need yeah, to yeah you might have to split a profit or something yeah you don't want to, you don't want to do that absolutely yeah. not. And i don't, I don't want to split it. the profit either yeah exactly. oh, yeah you, you can't you can't bring in more people in the circle so now, would this be like when when you were you know at the which you're still at the top of your game? I don't want to you know come off and sounding like I'm. This is a, the peak of the mountain. The peak here. of the mountain, the pinnacle. Yeah. Um, w would you be like out and like if you were like out with like you know getting food or something with your friends like and you had to fart? Would you be like yo hold on? Would you pull out like a backpack of like mason jars or something or well, like how was that? Well, like I said earlier, you know I'm still deep down that fart shy girl. I. I was Smart. before, yeah, so that makes sense. you know, pu in public, that's really not like a, an option for me. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, I just try to do it in the privacy of my own home. And it's actually kind of convenient because I'm very introverted. I'm kind of a hermit and I never leave my house anyway. So it's like, you know, I, I never really miss a fart. This might be a little too much like to actually get serious. But like when the when the original story broke, when you shared, you know, kind of like the amount of money you were making, did you have people like contacting you and being like what are you doing with your life like was there any criticism thrown your way uh, i've had people reach out to me saying that you know they, they hope i lose everything 
<laughs> so what does like, that even okay. mean? Uh, that's so vague. Like <laughs> emotionally, yeah. that's, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> well, I hope you lose everything. Really it's like, all right, dude. I thought that was like a really straight, but that one stood out to me. I was like, I hope you lose everything. I'm like, shit. That's like, that's just like a broad statement. You, so, I would at that point would rather receive a death threat than get like, yeah. I hope you lose everything. It's like, that sounds so much realer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Right. Um, but you know, so many people judging me and really getting so upset and heated about it. And it's like, it's, it's kind of sad to me because I think like at the end of the day, listen, this story that's come out about the fart jars is lighthearted. It's funny. It's fun. I don't take myself too seriously. And in light of everything that's going on in the world today with like COVID and like horrible things happening in the world, we should be grateful that this is a, like a headline story. Mm. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I think I, I agree. I think that is, it is a, a fun thing. Um, People need to escape. You ain't kidding. <laughs> it was, it was funny for one second and then I got real serious about it. Yeah. I was like, Oh wait, no, no. <laughs> Yeah, we, this is, like, we, we were like, like, yo, hold on. <laughs> we recorded and then we like turned off the cameras and we were like, we need to do this. It's like, yo, like, hold on. We like, didn't, what the fuck? Because I had never, like, I guess I always assumed that there was a market for that stuff because, yeah. you know, as you said, like every woman on social media gets some sort of weird message, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. it didn't, it didn't like come to our attention until like someone messaged me. And like, we, I was like, whoa, okay. And then that's when, you know, your, your story had kind of come out at the same time and we were... We're like, wow. This like, is like, yo, 50 G's in a week from, oh, from farting? There's not a lot I wouldn't do for that money, you know? <laughs> <laughs> farting into a jar is like the easiest. So let me tell you this. Let me ask you this. Because uh, you say you like retired. You're not going to be selling jars. Uh, is that because you're pivoting to the NFTs? Because, you know, there is a myth that women don't fart or poop. They and don't in my that's house. That's been de fucking bonked. There's no, they, they don't in my house. <laughs> yeah. So that's been debunked. So uh, do you think that you would still periodically sell some or are you not doing that to keep like the ones that you have the value of those going up like the NFTs mm, more see. rarity? Because I mean, if it's I me see. and I know I can get a thousand dollars for a fart and I'm going to be farting anyway, if I like, you know, <laughs> might as well, right? Might as well. Um, I mean, I haven't really given it much thought, but like, I definitely do want to pivot more into the NFT space because, um, you know, I just, I love the idea of NFTs. I've, you know, I've really been involved in like the crypto world the past year. I actually had a crypto crash course that I developed. So I'm very much so interested in, in being part of that. Um, and you know, it definitely beats sitting around and eating beans and drinking protein shakes all day. You ain't yeah. kidding. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I think also like I do have a somewhat traditional family and, you know, a lot of them are in Czech Republic and even the story even went viral there. Oh boy. Like, unbelievable. So, um, and they, you know, have expressed some concern about the story. So I'd like to, you know, I don't want, I don't want my, I don't want my family name to forever be, I mean, it probably is already, but. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did your, what was your family's like initial reaction when you're like, yeah, I just made $50,000 like farting into jars. Uh, so, uh, I got a phone call from my mother as soon as the story broke and she called me and said that everybody in her office was talking about how her daughter is selling farts in a jar and <laughs> how my mother found out the news. So she was, uh, she called me and she's just like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Making money, mom. Yeah. <laughs> So you want a new car? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but also my mom isn't like too surprised when things like this happen. I mean, I did go on 90 Day Fiance and I, you know, am the founder of an 18 and up fan subscription website. So it's like, this has kind of been my gig, like doing out of the box, unconventional things. So it's like, you know what, mom, just get used to it. Cause it might even get weirder than this. Oh, well, we are looking forward. We to are. That. We are very much so looking forward to that because <laughs> I think we always talk about like how weird, you know, our show gets. We'll talk like we'll start talking about like ice cream and we'll end talking about like a dead dog or something. It just we go all over the place. <laughs> those are your polls. Yeah, those are my polls. Yeah. We go all over the place. So just good, good cool. for you because you, you really are living the dream. You know, I don't I don't think there are many people that can say that they have sold a fart. And if they have nowhere near the profit that they've you know that you've made from it so good yeah, good on wow. you we actually were uh approached by a fart slave fart slave it? yes a fart slave um who 
wanted to buy our farts yeah. before the story broke. Yeah. And we were like, what? Oh, my God. That's so how we, we got into this. Yeah, so we really were talking about prices and whatnot. And then you came and kicked the fucking yeah. door down. <laughs> and you're like, I'm making $50,000 a week. And we're over here like, yo, 75 bucks? Yeah, I was like, oh, cool. I can make like $30 a week or something. And like, you're just coming oh in here God. and just, you know, completely well, hey, killing it. it's never it. too late. You know, follow your dreams. Yeah. That's that's really it's thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Um so speaking of, you know, kind of unconventional out of the box, had have you received some requests that have just been so out there that you were either unable to satisfy or you just, you know, said to them like, "Listen, like you need to, you know, see a shrink or someone." <laughs> so, there's one guy that's on my unfiltered who's been making the same request for a certain type of video for about like 3-4 months now. mm mm-hmm. Mhm. And I've like profusely told him no, and it will never happen. Yet he still asks me on an almost daily basis. Persistent. Wants, <laughs> like, and he wants a video of me running on a treadmill for 30 minutes. Oh wait, what does that have to do why? with farting? Yeah, why? I don't know, but he just like, he wants to see me running for 30 minutes and I keep explaining to him, I can't. <laughs> So I have to get into running shape for this, dude. I, I'm right there. With, I, I, I'm much quicker to like cut off a finger than run on a treadmill for 30 minutes. So I am right there with you. And he's like willing to pay anything. And I'm like, literally, there was no amount you could pay me. I simply cannot run for 30 minutes. That is... You and me both. Shocking. Ooh. I can't. That's, oh, this that's is, a new one that I didn't. This is running Joe over here. That's, that's not. That's, I'm not saying this it's is just a running Joe. Like he posts a picture like I barely sweat and it's him drenched in sweat. So, you that's know. not what I meant. I meant it's shocking that on a platform like that, that you would yeah. be like, I just want to see you run. You'd be like, right? If like you don't, don't want like a, like a, like a sweaty piece of underwear or something. Nothing. They just want to see you running. Which that, that's kind of a little scary. Like, have they asked you to be like, telling, he's telling me I'm like fat or something. Like maybe he's like, I'm trying up. to get he's in shape. It's like, I just need you to fucking exercise. <laughs> that's fucked up. I would start to be concerned if he started putting in like, as you're doing it, if he's like, all right, now look back and scream, get away from me. Yeah. You know, just like he started making it like you were running from him. It's like, oh, the kids. Yeah. <laughs> It's like I don't I don't want any underwear. I just want to uh, want you on a caloric deficit. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's oh like Jesus, God. man. Um, wow. Okay. So I mean, you're building an empire over here, and uh, I, I think it's it's truly amazing, and and we appreciate you coming on and, and talking to us. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, Thanks this so is... much. I hope you check out the Far Jar NFTs. Yeah. Do, do, check do you, them out. Yeah. Plug it. Whatever. Whatever it is. It's the Far yeah. Far Jar NFT dot com. I think. It's fart jars with an S, nft.com. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we still have some left. They're going fast, so go check them out. I believe it. <laughs> and, and we know it's probably been, you know, crazy, you know, with interview requests and stuff over the last couple of days. So it, we really appreciate you taking the time to speak with us and you being yeah. as candid as you have been. I know that this can sometimes be a little uh, strange to talk about because I'm like you in a lot of ways. <laughs> <laughs> You know, um, I, I am, I'm not a farter. I'm not a public farter. I yeah. just, I, yeah. and I've never like, it doesn't happen in my household. I don't like shame anyone that farts around me, but at the same time, I just, I don't know. I don't, I'm not crazy about it. So yeah. you are like an inspiration. Let me tell you, I, I because <laughs> it, well, I mean, there's a, there's a level of comfort in your own body yeah. that you need to achieve in order to do that. So like in that regard, you are way better than I am. Confidence through the roof. Yeah. You're motivating Frankie to come out of his fart shell. I probably won't, but you know. Hey, you better. Oh, <laughs> make Maybe some money on it. Unfiltered soon, selling your farts. Hey, so. there you go. Unfiltered. Got a customer right here, seventy bucks. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm flattered. Thank yeah, you. we're gonna have to get that jar in here and put it up on the shelf. Yeah. So <laughs> we're actually we're building a new set for our show, so that could go right on the shelf. Oh my god! And, uh, yes. Send me, give me your address. I'll send you a far jar. Oh, we're getting that. We're that getting is after so it. sweet. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> That's awesome. That is really nice. Um, but yeah, what's your uh, social media if people want to follow you? Yeah. So if people want to follow me, just head over to Instagram. It's Stepanka Matto on both Instagram and TikTok, or you just Google Stephanie Matto and you'll you'll find you'll find more than you've even bargained for. Amazing. Thank you so much again. Thank you again. Uh, this has been great, and yeah. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks, guys. It was nice talking to you. Bye. Nice meeting you. All right. Bye. Well, well, well. Wow. What?
what a what a treat. What a treat it was. What a what a lovely woman. Um really appreciate her coming on. She was really cool. Yeah, really cool. And and some insight into the Fart Empire. I got to say like and obviously I'm not a complete piece of shit, but like well, the fact that she is donating a lot of the proceeds to from the NFTs to, to something like regardless of what it is is like really nice. Yo, by the way, talk your shit about farting into jars. But the NFT pivot, dog? Yeah, that's That's smart. a business woman. This is, exactly. It's a business woman. And she, you heard she said she started her own... She's a founder. Oh, uh, She's a founder of an over-18 content website. I don't know if I'm saying the proper term, yeah. but like, that's that as well. Hey, Big man, time. We're talking about entrepreneurial to the point where anything that leaves her body and is like, money. You can talk all the shit you want, but until you do it at her level... Like, everyone talks shit about Jeff Bezos because, you know, all that stuff about, like, treating his employees, whatever. But, like, <laughs> but like, it's Bezos, I you mean, know? Yeah. That's the daddy of business. Yeah. <laughs> and she's she's the mama of the fart game. Yeah. Period. She's the backdoor queen. She's... <laughs> well, that makes... That sounds completely wrong. I don't... Well... That's not what I meant. I mean, you know, maybe. I'm just, like, it's kind of crazy. And it's also nice to hear that people are, like, respectful of her. She's not getting requests, like... Well, that one guy that told her to run on a fucking... What the hell was yeah, that about, That's a little weird. I want you to run on a treadmill. <laughs> For 30 minutes? Oddly specific. Very specific. And this is someone who clearly has, like, a thing. It's like Dexter Morgan, you know, where, like, this guy was, like, born on a treadmill that was running or something. And, like, he needs to see people running on a Maybe treadmill. Maybe he likes to see women, like... Also, like, go to a gym. You know what this I'm guy saying? gym trips for this guy is just a jerk off sesh. Yeah, like I'm not advocating for someone to be staring at women. Don't at yeah, the gym. That's, that's inappropriate. That's fucking weird. Yeah, but the same at the same time, you gotta work smarter, not harder. You know, and it's like, oh yo, go to a track. Bro, fuck it. Well, yeah, I mean, run it on the track. I, I don't want to advocate this because it seems like yeah, whatever. It's a little weird, but like Planet Fitness, not that expensive. <laughs> You know, it's like, like four dollars a month. This gentleman is asking, you know, this this woman, I, I, I for a, he's probably paying an ungodly amount or willing to at least. Yeah, and it's like you could satisfy that itch fairly quickly. Yeah, you know, but I, I mean, good for her. To each his own. I think that's there might be some fin dom uh, with that. It's like a fin dom. I, I'm like, worried. I, I want to pay for something normal. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, like the guy who like just stare into the camera for ten minutes. Hey man, if, if some the, people like eye contact, I'm telling you, there's absolutely, you know, every what did they say? Every ass is a seat. You know, someone's got to be turned on by everything in the world. Every ass is a seat. Yeah, every ass is a seat. That's not it. Yeah, no, it's not. Yeah, it is. That doesn't make any sense. Why not? How is an ass a seat? Every ass. There's a seat for every ass. Yeah. Yeah, but you said every ass is a seat. You're not sitting that on ass. That is a seat. I said every ass has a seat. Oh, oh, I that didn't say it is, but I, I guess technically. Every ass is a seat. So is every face. You can't sit on a butt. Well, face makes more sense. You can sit on a butt. How do you sit on a butt? The same way you sit on anything else. Dude. You Are you seriously arguing that you can sit on any butt? You, unless you don't, Unless they're fucking made of like eggshells. Like you could sit on any butt. What? And they would have to throw their legs over their head? No, they can lay face down and just sit on their butt. Oh, that, dude, I wasn't even thinking of that. Why? Why I that? was thinking of the, the amount of pressure that would have to be on someone's neck to like lay down oh, and just well, throw their legs up and you sit on them like that. I've seen a couple, you know, schoolboy small package pins from Rey Mysterio that show that people can sit on a butt like that. Schoolboy small package. Yeah, you remember the old WWE, WWF days where like, Rey Mysterio would roll someone up and he would just sit on their butt and like pull the tights a little bit. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, You know, count the three. You're right. When you're right, you're right. You ain't, you ain't business minded like me and <laughs> Steph, dog. I'm going to get into the ads what a, right now. What we're, a transition. We're going to knock out the first two here. Uh, the first one being Liquid IV, which I have been crushing lately, especially the wellness one that they have because there's a lot of like vitamin something in there. DC, whatever the good one is. Are they both good? Uh, I crush those because they're amazing. They're like clementine flavored or tangerine or whatever. They're incredible. Um, but they also have, uh, you know, ones that will hydrate you. Um, they have the five essential uh, vitamins, B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C. Uh, they have elect three times the electrolytes as traditional sports drinks. Uh, they're made with premium ingredients, non-GMO free, uh, and free from gluten, dairy, and soy. Um, but yeah, so I usually have them, you know, 
if I feel like, if I miss a day of like, I don't feel like I drank enough water and then I wake up and I'm a little like my throat's dry and I feel like a little dehydrated, then I'll, you know, have some water, but I also will throw a stick of uh, liquid IV in there. It's a powder. You just put it in, you mix it up, you're good to go. And they all taste amazing. They have great flavors. So go check them out. Uh, they're available nationwide at Costco, or if I was you, I would get them online with our code. Uh, you get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code BASEMENT at checkout. That is 25% off of anything when you use the promo code BASEMENT at liquidiv.com. Uh, yeah, liquidiv.com, use the code BASEMENT, 25% off, guys. Crazy. Uh, next, we have HelloFresh. Uh, HelloFresh is great uh, for people that want to get into cooking um, and that, you know, like me, you're not that creative in the kitchen, so you don't really know even know what to make. You know, you can only make pasta so many times. Um, but they have great seasonal recipes, recipes, and the cool thing about it is when you go on their site and you pick out their recipe um, for whatever, and they also have different kinds of things. They have like healthy options or you know vegetarian and stuff like that, so you can just pick whatever diet suits you. Uh, they come to your house in uh, pre-portioned ingredients, so you get all the ingredients, you use all of them, nothing goes to waste, and you have the recipe right there, so it teaches you how to cook it, and then you can kind of save those things and make your own little like uh, HelloFresh cookbook or whatever. Uh, it's also cost effective. It's cheaper to use HelloFresh than go to a restaurant, obviously, or even go to the supermarket. Um, so definitely go check them out. Um, and on top of it being affordable, you can also get up to 16 meals for free by using our code. Uh, go to HelloFresh.com slash Basement16 and use the code Basement16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. Uh, that is HelloFresh.com slash Basement16. Use the code Basement16. Uh, for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts, whatever that means. The gifts, I don't know what they are, but there's three free uh, ones, all right? So go check them out, hellofresh.com slash basement 16. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, what were we talking about? Oh, sitting on butts. Sitting on butts. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm good for her. And, and like the, the thing that I think would get me is mm -hmm. you when she was saying that like people reach out and they're like, I hope you lose everything. Yo, that is fucking evil. And also... Hilarious. It is very funny. I hope you lose everything. D Excuse me? Maybe maybe it was like misinterpreted. Maybe it was meant to be like a nice thing because she's giving away farts. So it's like, yo, I hope you are fresh out of farts that like you, you sell it all. That's I, not it. I don't think it is. But that's, you know, that's the optimist in me. Yeah, that's that's glass half full. Jar, jar half full. Jar half full of fucking ass. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. And I'm glad that she cleared up the whole evidence tampering thing. Right. The, the flower. Yep. She wipes it with a cloth flower. You know, there I, may be some, uh, close your ears, residue when you're farting. What, you're talking, do you think I can't handle the fact that she's probably got poop particles on this thing? Well, I, I know that you don't really enjoy that. I think of anything, that's, you know, that's like striking gold if you buy that. That's true, honestly. If there is some shit particles on this pedal, I would probably jack up that price. That's what I'm saying now for her. I mean, listen, I think she may need like a business manager, and I'm willing to be that for her. So if, if she's watching this, it right sounds now, like she's got an accountant already. It sounds like she's probably. I mean, got she's that. got an accountant, but uh, you know, not a not a business manager. You know. Well, well you know, listen, uh, whatever. What's what's the company? Twenty San Agato Studios. Yeah. Always looking for more talent. Always looking for more talent. Also, just like as an from an advisor standpoint, mm -hmm. I would love to help you out here. Uh, but yeah, I would definitely jack up the price. You started from nothing, so immediately off the bat, went for a thousand dollars per jar. We're gonna crank those numbers up. Oh, you're worth absolutely. I'm proud of her. I mean, look at what happened to the Staples Center. Ten years ago, no one ever heard of you know Bitcoin, or they or very few people did. Now it's the cryptocurrency center where the Lakers play. It's crypto.com, but yeah, crypto.com. Yeah. Now in ten years, it could be you know the fart jar Inc. Square Garden. <laughs> Madison might be out. Yeah. Fart, fart jar ink coming in. Yeah. Fart jars NFT. Fart jars NFT. That's that's just crazy. We should probably get one of those. How much how much do you think those go for? Should we check it out? Well, yeah. She said she was kind enough to say she would send us one for the set. Well, she was going to send us a jar. I'm talking about the NFTs. Oh, I don't know. And what is the NFT? Like, if you can't smell it, isn't that, I guess, the appeal? It's a digital... Bro. This is a website. 5,000 fart jar NFTs available. Mint here. I'm not even familiar with NFT language, so I don't even know what mint, it means. Mint make. means like good. 0 0.05 Ethereum. Oh, she's taking crypto for this stuff. Bro, it's NFT. Yeah, I it's didn't, all crypto. I thought you cause. could just pay for money. No, no, no. Oh, I can't connect my wallet. I get too scared. 
<laughs> They're gonna take all your Ethereum that you have left. I what I'm gonna add. I'm How gonna, much is an Ethereum coin right now? Um, I'll look. I have some Ethereum. Of course you do. Ethereum right now is three thousand four hundred and forty nine dollars. So half of that for a jar? It's not half of that. It's like seventeen hundred. Point oh five. Oh, they said point five. No. So point. So half so of three forty. What did I say? Three forty four times point zero five. Hundred seventy two bucks. That's not bad. <laughs> I mean, better than a thousand dollars. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, then you're getting the physical. You know, I'm a big physical digital media guy. You are like a collectible I go, guy. I go and I buy the video games, and you know, and I have them in my hands. So there are people that are like me. Listen, man. Farchar NFTs. You can go get one right now for like a hundred seventy two. USD. Yeah. You know what I mean? So good for that. And, and she's donating some of the, you know, some of the proceeds to charity. These are kind of dope. There's one with a donut in it. Honestly, I'd be way more inclined to buy a fucking fart jar. Oh, so you could buy what it looks like? Yeah. But I bro, still, are I'm you not, like I'm, familiar I, I honestly, no. I honestly, <laughs> no. No, I'm not. I'm still very... You don't know. It's, you're a newbie. The, the most I know about NFTs... They cost money. ...are the skit that SNL did on it. Where Pete Davidson sang a song. No, so there's you You get to pick one. Can I design one? No. Oh, well. So they design them, and then they put them out for this price, right? It's all fucking blockchain, crypto, fucking uh, how you doing? I don't know what that is. Uh, but then you pick one. You're like, yo, which one's my oh, that favorite? One, diamond one is cool. What's which in there? Diamond? Oh, yeah, this one's fucking tight. What What's in it? It says unfiltered on it. Oh, that's the and name. it's going like this. I'm pretty sure that's the Wait, name. Is this of, white power? That's white power. <laughs> uh oh, she might have just change that one up a little bit. No, no, it's a okay. I, I think well, they only have four fingers, so you can't make the W. This one has a top hat and um, wheat. What is that? Well, I can't see. Is that a feather? No, no, no. It's like wheat. No, I, I look. I think that looks like dill. Could be dill. It could be dill. Could be dill. This one's just got a straight up butt on it, and it's a farting butt. That one is probably the only that one would be again. that's probably the most expensive one. That's a Damn, couple of Ethereum. That is fucking cool, dude. And you know how much? You know how much? Uh, how, she must be getting hit up like crazy right now. Someone had to be like, "Yo, we need to fucking mint this NFT. This we're gonna whoever fuck it. whoever if she doesn't have the business manager, Joe Senegato, please hire him. Yep. Um, they're they're rolling in it right now. If she does have one, there they are like they are cleaning up because they're like, "Yo, they can," and not only is she. Like, she's in that market, but, like, she's also branched out. You know, she says she has an 18 and plus subscription service. So, like, people are curious going to that, too. You know, they say no no press is bad press. <laughs> boy, oh, boy. Is she, is she, you know, pressed up right now? Yeah, she's pressed up for sure. She was on, like, E! News and, you know, and God the, knows what. And the basement yard, the basement baby. Yard, and we probably have the coolest interview ever, to be honest I would with say you. so, because we're unfiltered. That's a good pun, baby. That's a good pun. Uh, she's got a Discord. Does she? So they're in there. They're discussing all types of gases. Like, yo, what, what fart did you get? What did it smell like? Yeah, what kind of... Yeah, for sure. You know, I... I, I boy, I don't... We got MVMT. That's it. It's a great, it's a great company. It is a good company. Uh, MVMT is a great company, actually. Um, they uh, they craft... They're crafted with top-tier materials. Uh, they have Everscroll gra glasses, which are blue light glasses that they have. Uh, I have, I think, three pairs of them, honestly. And they're all very stylish. Uh, but I'm staring at a screen all day. I also watch TV at night with the lights off, so it's not good for your eyes. But you should, so you should wear the blue light glasses. It also helps you sleep. Um, so yeah, go check those out. They have uh, minimalist jewelry. They have really nice watches. They have a bunch of their watches as well. All super affordable, high quality stuff, um, and it makes a good gift for anybody. And uh, yeah, so definitely for like I said, for the Everschool glasses, the the blue light glasses. Go check them out. Uh, if you want to protect your eyes with style that doesn't break the bank, join the movement and get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns by going to mvmt.com slash basement. Uh, that is mvmt.com slash basement. Go check out all the products they have. Uh, you know, like I said, jewelry, glasses, um, and watches and, and stuff like that. So go check them out, mvmt.com slash basement uh, right now. Um, and we have a new sponsor. Uh, we have Miller Lite, which... Not a joke, Frankie's favorite beer. This is not false. Yeah, Frankie has, there's probably, that has been scrubbed from the internet, uh, <laughs> pictures of Frankie <laughs> walking around with K 
cases of Miller Lite. Quite, quite a few. This was my drink of choice to ring in the new year. Yeah, I, I told Frankie and he was elated. I I'm could like, not believe it. Miller Lite's on board, bud. And it's also a well-documented fact that I love Miller Lite for oh, it quite is. a while. Yeah. Uh, brewed for taste. It hits different than other light beers. Uh, made from simple ingredients, Miller Lite is for the people who love the taste of beer. Okay, the right balance between taste and lightness means you get to spend more time drinking with friends and less time thinking about what you're drinking. I honestly will agree with that. I, I, yeah, I will. I, I think it is the best light beer. It's the original. Well, I, I would think that anyway uh, now, <laughs> but I really do think no, so. No, bu- bullshit aside, it, it's always been my light beer of choice. Really when is. I had a choice. When we were younger, it was like, whatever you can get your hands on. Yeah, I would when drink When I was like, like, if I can choose? I used to drink enough mouthwash because I heard there was a little bit of alcohol in it. Miller Lite, great taste, 96 calories. Go to MillerLite.com. <laughs> Go to MillerLite.com forward slash basement to find deliver- delivery options near you. Uh, like I said, 96 calories, 3.2 carbs per 12 ounces. So not even 100 calories. Also, just good, just good, good, good light old beer, fashioned man. Light beer. Dude, nothing better than a freezing cold Miller <sighs> Light. If it means having to adjust my diet, I don't know if I can do it because that, well, she made it seem not very fun having to eat fucking cabbage soup. Yeah, well, ugh. I've never... I like that's, cabbage. That's a lot. Who likes cabbage I like soup? cabbage. The Irish and that's it. No, I like cabbage. Okay. Or is that corned beef? And cabbage. What is corned beef? It's like beef that's like cooked in like a pickling agent or some shit. I, I'm not quite sure. It's it, it's like, I don't know. It's like a pickle, pickled beef. The Irish are disgusting. I can say that I'm Irish. He is. He absolutely is. He's half though. So half of you can be upset with him. The other half don't be. Yeah. You're also Italian. So say something bad about them. The hairy arms. Come on, you can think of a better one. Than on that. the women, I mean. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. You redeemed yourself. My dad told me a okay. My dad told me a joke. <laughs> oh, good, great. A while ago, and he was like, "What's the joke?" I think it was like something about. I'm not even. I don't even know the joke, but the jo- But basically, it ended with like, "What do you do if an Italian woman is on fire and it's like spit on her mustache or something like that?" I forgot what it was, but it was. Uh, that's not it. Exactly. Call your dad. No, no, no definitely no. not. Yeah, no. Hey, uh, just a quick question. Yo, for you, you know, we should probably set that up one day with our dads. Well, just I'll. I'll so it's a miracle. Would <laughs> we'll be, be getting your dad on Zoom. <laughs> yeah, would be. Ex- <laughs> Like, Dad, just click on this and then click launch, please. And then once that's done. I'm I'm afraid of what my dad would say. I may mail him a laptop just to, just to do this. <laughs> yeah. My dad would be, like, too into it where my dad would go and be like, yeah, Frank, you remember when you shit your pants? And I'm like, whoa, Dad, chill out. Like, he would be too fucking Oh, my God. Up. My dad would treat this like he was on, ra- like, Radio City stage. Like oh. Christmas. Like, just like. Your dad would be more than a people. performer than my dad. I think my dad, oh, yeah. actually, he might talk a lot of shit and then get on and just be quiet. You know my dad was in a play? What play? Four years ago. What? Yeah. What play? It was, uh, it was like a, a Christmas play. Your dad was in a religious play? No, it wasn't religious. It was like Christmas. Actually, it might have been. Bro. It wasn't really a play. I mean, so here's what I mean. Mm-hmm. Because he lives in like a small town now. Mm-hmm. So, but, so he had to try out or something and i got a picture bro i was dying so hold on hold on hold on hold on i i know your father yeah i've known him since as long as i've known you he's a fan of the arts your father <laughs> went to an audition yeah went again for a callback yep yeah. and then fully participated in i am so proud of him and he and he was like a shepherd Oh, where's a frankincense? Yeah, he basically Co- coach. Yeah, that's that's what <laughs> he, he had to do. He was a shepherd, something like that. It was like uh, uh I believe it was like some Christmas themed or whatever. It was very biblical, to be honest with you. Uh, well, and he yeah. had a staff and shit. Well, duh. And uh, I feel like your dad has a staff normally, and just be like, oh, I, I also have this staff. <laughs> he yeah. showed up with the staff, dude. It was so funny. And then he told me that he took a job at a theater uh-huh. so that he could like. Get in cahoots. It was all part of a master plan to get in cahoots with the people who work there, so smart that man. he, so that he could like do better on the auditions and get into more plays. That's smart. Yeah, very smart. My dad and my mom was in a uh, you know, a, a all staff uh, show uh, for Greece. 
She was in Greece. She was. She was in like the stage play for Greece is different. You know, there's like songs and stuff cut out of like the movie, but uh, yeah, she played Marty, and she sang is a song. A, is that a? Dude, it's it's dude? one of the characters. Is it a dude? No, my mom didn't play a dude. You said Marty. Isn't Marty. That, it's like, like a short Mar- for Martin. Like it's a girl named Marty. Okay. In the movie, if yeah. you know, or the play. I don't. And she sang like in front of like the whole school, and she crushed it. Really? Yeah, she actually did really well. Wait, when was this? 2011, 2012. Dude. Yeah. How I have you? videos and stuff on my computer. I can find them. Wait, what school? Brian. What the fuck? Yeah, 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 yeah. They you would never do, told me this? I don't know. You know, they, Brian would do three plays a year. They do a fall, like, drama. Uh, then you they, were in all of them, Brian. No, no. <laughs> I was going to be in the first one that I was in. Remember, I was only in Brian for two years. Yeah. And I dropped out of the drama because of time constraints. Couldn't do it. And then they do in like the spring, they do, or like the winter, they do a staff play, you know, and then in the sp- like the spring slash early summer, like in like April or May, they do like the, like musical, you know, I remember I was in Fiddler on the Roof, I was in Man of La Mancha, you know, I was lead in Man of La Mancha, you know, Don Quixote. Um, Guy's got some portfolio. I, I got quite. Yeah. Uh, I have pictures too. <laughs> oh yeah. You, know, you got posters. I do. Uh, and... <laughs> My mom. Frank had posters of himself in his room on the wall. It was crazy. I'll post that shit. I don't give a fuck. I'm raw like Monday night. You still got them? Damn right I do. They better be up. They, uh, well, no. <laughs> Put them in. The posters in I used to have. All, <laughs> no. <laughs> the posters I had up in my high school fucking room are not. I remember when I was in college, I still hung up like our like little league football jerseys. <laughs> And Tim, my my old roommate, he was like, "Hey man, it's time to take those down." And I was like, "You need someone to tell you." I that. was like, "All right, I, they, you're they, right." They they got taken down. Yeah, but yeah, my mom was in uh, was in Greece, and she crushed it. She really did. Good for her. I was super like, in addition to her doing well, she was like, I was proud she got up there. My mom's never been in shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my dad neither. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> but yeah. Um, also, you remember when you did the talent show in like third grade? Second grade. Second grade? Yeah. Bro, I don't know why. I don't know why. But you know like how there's just random points of your life that just stick out. Mm-hmm. And you remember nothing else from that year. Mm-hmm. Second grade, bro, I can see you on stage with Stavros. Nope. No, no, no. With Lauren Betancourt. Yep. And David. Yep. One and- more. One more. One more icon of the game that you're missing. Was it a dude or a girl? A guy. Who was it? Lawrence? Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah, a yeah. squad that is. It was a, it was a, a tale for the fucking ages. Uh, Frankie was like lip syncing the song and like dancing and you were just like jumping. Yes. So it was uh, when the first Pokemon... A Pokemon song that I had never heard. Well, it was like from the album, which the I... The album? Yeah, they had a Pokemon. It was called like To Be A Master. A Pokemon album! You didn't know this? I had that Pokemon album. I listened to that shit on my CD player so hard. One, you have a Pokemon album. Two, you have a CD player. Bro, you didn't have a CD player when you oh, were Oh, I thought you grade. meant now, dog. Oh, no, every now and then I put it on for miles. We laughed to it. Um, <laughs> but um, it was, I wore this, I had this like fucking big black long sleeve shirt, or it might have been short sleeve, and it was just Mew on it. Damn. Pretty dope. That's tight. And um, it was the, the Team Rocket like double trouble song. So like the back of the fucking stage had like frills. By the way, two choreographed moves the whole time. Really? The whole time. A two minute song, just two moves. And uh it was You you were like performing. Oh, I put on a I remember show. you being like oh, and like singing all the words. And well I'm like, yeah Damn, dude. it was like it was like I was um, front row for that bitch. I, I think I still remember the song like well but <laughs> yeah, it I was you like, do the whole song right now. you know, like we were carrying a bag with Pikachu in it. Cause that's the whole thing is that we're going to capture Pikachu. Yeah. You're criminals. We're criminals. Team Rocket. <laughs> we're walking around. And then like when it was for the chorus, which is team rockets, rocking, talking trouble, walking trouble, double trouble, real trouble's gonna follow you. It was just picture me standing. This is me right here. Two legs. It was. Team Rockets, rocking, talking, trouble, just jumping, yeah, jumping four squares. I remember that. Real trouble's gonna follow you. Nailed it. That was it. Yeah. And then what would you do during the verses? <laughs> you tread water. <laughs> That's it. You would just tread water. Yeah. Are you just guys kind of freestyle it. 
Yeah. But when did you have the bag? Um, it was like we're gonna capture Pikachu. Oh. <laughs> that was James. Damn, dude. There's like Meowth like breaks it down at one point. He raps. He doesn't rap, but they're like, I'll beat the Joker of crime. What's the song called? Uh, just type up Team Rock Team Rocket song on YouTube. Double trouble. Double trouble. I gotta play this. Oh, we're gonna get demonetized. Well, we already were for the part. They got a copyright for this, bro. It's Nintendo. You think they don't? <laughs> yeah, that's true. I just need to hear it a little bit. Do you know there was some other video that we put out, and we played a song for like a second, and they fucking nailed us. Did they? Yeah. It might have been the Kid Rock one. <laughs> I think so. Thinking it about might, it, yeah. it might have been. So when this part of crime. Be prepared for trouble. Make it double. Damn, that's kind of a hard song. It sounds like a. <laughs> when uh, it starts off with the leader of Team Rocket, which his name is James. No, <laughs> Giovanni. Oh, I was. I was you know. No, no, no. Uh, and and he's like, I, I want you to capture Pikachu. And this time, don't screw it up. Yeah. And it was like the talent show had like gold, like, like stuff, like yeah. hanging in the background. And I poked my head out, and I was pretending to be you. <laughs> it was just your head. Just my head. And you were like, angry. Yeah, I was like, this time, don't screw it up. <laughs> I need to find this video because also you have on, a video. Yeah, I have a oh, tape. Oh, we need that. <laughs> it's a tape. Yeah, I need that. Also on this is um, Davino singing, ling- uh, singing and dancing to "Live in La Vida Loca." <laughs> Time out. You don't know this, Joey? He would be like, he was like, upside inside out. She living the vida loca. Time out. Hold on, hold on. no, for real, no. I, it was funny before, but now I'm dead serious. I'm very. You have a video mm-hmm. of your performance, and and then Davino by himself. No, it's like him, other people that we knew who I'm not gonna get first and last. <laughs> <laughs> We're not shy at the first and last on this. It's show. like him. Uh, uh, but are you sure you want me to let them fly? Why is it like crazy? Names? No, but like I don't know, like Demi. She's in the with Davino. She, well, she was she was doing another song. Oh, I think with Davino it was like this this girl Ariel. Remember those? Oh girls? yeah, I do remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't that like his cousin or something. Something like that. Some I don't think. But they, they were. did live in La Vida. live in La Vida Loca. That girl Demi did like I'm blue. I feel like I remember that. Uh, Lawrence's brother was on there. Yeah, doing I think Ray of Light by Madonna. Good hit. It's a great song. It's a good song. Um, I don't. I, I don't know. Dude, uh, you need to get your hands on this tape. I, my mom has it. I saw it a couple years ago. I, I, if I check my computer, I, I might have a video or two. Bro, I need that. That's yeah. fucking incredible. It's it's uh, it's an icon of the game. Davino doing Le, living La Vida Loca. Yeah. You know what you need to find? You need to find the video of our fifth grade dance. Oh, I'm sure my mom has that shit. We, we, we used to watch that. Damn, so, we got a fucking... The fucking woman... <laughs> what are they called? Like the, the motivational the, the dancers. D, the DJ. The, no, it's like the, there's a DJ. The party dancer. Yeah, it's like a party dancer who like gets the crowd going and moving. This woman was on all types of... Drugs? Yeah. Just like crazy. <laughs> she was like very... She, it was the girl that did all the dances. Like from like first grade until then, she was at every single one. Yeah. And, and we're talking like... And bless her Halloween, heart. Halloween... Like all the all the dances, lady had tons of energy, a lot <laughs> to deal with. Fifth graders might have been supplied by debt. Yeah, possibly. Um, <laughs> it was the nineties; no one cared. No one gives a shit. Uh, but she would like they, what, what, what was the song? Oh, uh, who, who let, let the, the dogs, dogs out? out? And she would like add commentary. Yeah, she was like, the "Who let like, the dogs out?" And then she give the she give the uh, she gave the uh, microphone to some fifth grader she was it was like who let the dogs out and then the kid goes i did and then she goes so did i yeah and i was like but like it just fuck? came out, it just came out of nowhere like she'd be like i did i did i so did i and it was remember like, that mm. song was like i love soda <laughs> oh my god yo that was a great song i love soda i, I do love soda yeah. i don't drink it anymore me neither you know i kind of gave that up you know interesting about that girl steph i once had that feeling where i thought i was having a heart attack and it was because i had too much soda and beer soda and beer pack night what were you doing <laughs> i i'll tell you exactly it was like around the holidays i was home from college 
I was up late on my computer watching Best of Dana Carvey on SNL. These are <laughs> these details don't matter, dude. Well, it, <laughs> and I had that same feeling, and I thought I was having a heart attack. And my sister, I like called her. I was like, I, I think I, I, I need your help. I, need, I might need to go to the hospital. And then it was just like I was just too gassy. Did you fart it out? I don't. I, I'm sure I did, but like I didn't like let it rip when my sister was there. Dude, one of the funniest stories I've ever heard. My uncle had to take medication for something. Mm -hmm. I think he had some like surgery or something. So, he, but he had to take medication, and I guess it gave him a weird reaction, mm -hmm. and it made him insanely gassy, and he was in a lot of pain. My, <laughs> and we're at my uncle's house, and his wife is like drunk off wine and she's telling the story with tears on her eyes like dying laughing <laughs> oh they're like crying like, no, like no. sad and she's like he was in his underwear in a tidy whities and nothing else rolling around in the kitchen <laughs> and complaining about being in pain and just farting that's something and like can you imagine that scene just like ah! <laughs> it's just setting it off well, in the kitchen it's like a part of uh, having a heart attack that you like fart a lot because I, I remember I <laughs> you didn't know this wait what you, bro, farting a, in heart bro, attack there's an ep there's an episode of Parks and Rec where uh, Jerry Larry Gary Gergich Gingrich they scare him is that a real name that you just said his name is it goes it's it's part of the show but he, his name is like originally Jerry and then Gary and then Larry and they like scare him like a ah you know like a jump scare like leaving a bathroom or something and they scare him and he keeps farting. And the girl, like one of the girls in the show is a nurse. And she's like, no, he's having a heart attack. And he's like, ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> ah. Yeah. And then I looked it up and it's like, that's apparently like a legit part of not all, but sometimes you have heart attack, which listen up. Any loved ones in my life, if you're going to have a heart attack near me, just hold your butt. Yo, don't. Because that'll make the response less urgent if I just hear you ripping your ass. Yeah. If you're ripping, if you're ripping ass. I'll if you're just... chiming the bell. <laughs> If you're hitting the gong, yeah, uh, yeah, that'd be fucking hilarious. Oh yeah, God. so uh, what, what a fucking ride what a day we've had. What a day. What a day. It's been interesting, hasn't it? This is it? why I love doing this show. It's a great show. And uh, boy, oh boy, Something guys, else. just keep sending us these these people that you find on the internet. We'll reach out to them. We'll see. Oh, we 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 might become OPL 2.0, less serious. You know, we don't want to talk to people that have like traumatic stuff. You know, like, you know, like my dad's dead or something. Like, we want to talk to people about. Yeah, funny or like stuff. I just put my dog down, stuff like that. Yeah, uh, we spoke about that. <laughs> we spoke about that. Frank's got a dead dog. I got. Well, we talked about it the other well, day. Well, you don't even have a dog anymore. Um, because well, that's right. Had a dog. Right now, I have ashes. Yeah. Well, I don't even have the ashes yet. <laughs> so I'm in that weird limbo where I have nothing. Yeah, he doesn't have a dog. He has dog residue. I <laughs> I have memories and pain. That's what I have. <laughs> You know. Oh God. Also, <laughs> before we get out of here, mm -hmm. so we had talked about <laughs> when you told the story of some guy shooting his dog mm -hmm. in, on a hike, and he didn't do it, by the way. Yeah, he didn't. I don't know why I said that. I don't yeah. Really know. Yeah. Um, you know the person. I put two and two together after the, I know who you're talking about now. That I'm not doing first and last. <laughs> um, but <laughs> that I'm not doing first and last. But. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's very smart honestly. someone someone posted uh well we posted the clip of that part of the episode and, and someone left a comment and said that you were a fucking psychopath. psychotic and like first of all people going at this person in the comments chill out yeah. you know but they were like this is not funny you're a psychopath and i was like hey listen i'm not saying i am going to do this i can't because i already got a dead dog yeah it's, it's and too I late didn't, i didn't shoot her yeah um but like I was bringing up how funny it is that someone would be like, yo, this might be a legitimate, you know, way to get to it. It's all good and fun, folks. It is good and fun. This is here. What? This is here. <laughs> this is what we do here. But what we do just left my body first. This is here. This is, this is here. <laughs> Technically, you're right. I'm not wrong. This is here. We are, in fact, here. Yeah. So <laughs> where can they find you? Well, you can find me here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, at the Basement Yard. You can also find me at the Patreon. Patreon.com slash the Basement Yard, where... You know, you get exclusive episodes every Friday if you're at that $10 tier. If that $5 tier, you get the weekly episodes a week in advance. So go check it out. And then um, F Alvarez8085 on Twitter, the Frank Alvarez on Twitch and Instagram. I'll hopefully be starting my Twitch up soon again. So there's more places to interact, hang out, talk some farts. Talk some farts. Yeah, and uh, you guys can go follow me at Joe's Handing Out. I'll go follow the show at The Basement Yard on TikTok and Instagram. And that is all. See you guys next time. <laughs>
Bow.